Hello everyone, today I'm here with my car Volkswagen Yup and I will mount a bicycle carrier on the root rails on the car and this was the consumption increase when I put a bike on top of that. So let's first mount the uh, bicycle carrier and then uh, the bike and check what's the consumption increase uh, when there is a bike on the car. This is my root rails uh, on the car. They are made by Volkswagen. I already showed you how you can mount it. Uh, so check my videos how you can mount the root rails and the bicycle carrier actually it's Ture uh, and you can see that it slides within the rails there is a rectangle a cubic bolt which just slides here on the rails and the same is here there is one here and two bolts here that are sliding into the rails like this and you can mount the rails whenever you want then after that you need to push, put this lever down like this and the other one like this so there are two on the front and two one on the back then it is very stable there is a lock here on this one where you can lock it so that nobody can uh, release the, the lever here and there's, there's also a lock here when you can lock the handle uh, I will put the link to this uh, mounting carrier in the video description so let's put the bike and check the consumption Okay, we are all set up for uh, the test. Uh, I will go to my usual uh, road to my work and back, which is about 15 kilometers. Uh, I will drive in the city conditions and uh, usually it takes me around 10 kilowatts per 100 kilometers. So I know this uh, road pretty well and I know the consumption. So let's see how, uh, how much consumption we will have when there is a bike uh, on the road of the car. Alright, we just ended the trip and it exactly 10 kilowatts per 100 kilometers. The trip took 20 minutes, the average speed was 35 kilometers per hour, distance 11 kilometers. To be honest, I don't see any increase of the consumption of the car. That's why I will uh, leave. I will put uh, off the, the bicycle from my uh, roof and do uh, the trip again. Because uh, the reason for that maybe it's because very, uh, very hot outside. It's 20, 24. It's 24.5 degrees centigrade. 
that's why I um, don't see any increase of the consumption while uh, I'm with the, with the bicycle on the road. Let me do a quick run again without the bicycle and see what will be the result. All right, I left the bike in my garage. Uh, I resetted the trip and I will do another spin with the same trip. It will be around 50 to 60 600 meters uh, difference with the trip, but uh, I think that's not so important for the average consumption. So I will do a uh, spin and uh, I will show you the results. Alright, I'm here at the starting point. You can see that the consumption is 9.5 kilowatt hours per uh, 100 kilometers, which is significantly low. It's about 5% increase when you have a bicycle on the uh, top of the car or not. Let me show you show another uh, stats of the car. Uh, I have traveled 25 minutes. Average speed was 31 kilometers per hour, distance 13 kilometers. So I think the good results are because of the hot uh, weather outside, it's warm weather. But uh, I was expecting more like 15 to 20 percent increase of the consumption when we have uh, a bicycle or not on the roof. So I hope you like this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you soon.